Professor Seinfeld has, going back nearly 40 years now, been the leader in the engineering community in both understanding and planning for the protection of uh, the atmosphere. His work has had impact in the scientific sense in understanding the role of particulates in the atmosphere. John has helped us understand how they form. He's helped us understand their impact on climate and on air pollution. It's a great honor. It's, it's the it's, it's the pinnacle of recognition in the field of environmental science. But also it's a recognition of the importance of atmospheric chemistry, the understanding of air pollution, and the strides that have been made in controlling air pollution in the U.S. In the late 1960s in Los Angeles, one couldn't help but notice the air. You saw the air, and you didn't see the mountains. I got very interested in the, um, what this soup was all about. In order to understand fully what's going on in the atmosphere and also to predict how the atmosphere might respond if you controlled automobiles or other sources that lead to air pollution, you need to be able to simulate the atmosphere and all its dynamics on the computer. We did that work for the Los Angeles atmosphere and that was the first model of its kind. It was successful in allowing us to understand the nature of Los Angeles smog. That eventually led to the Federal Clean Air Act specifying that these computer models are to be used by all the states in planning uh, air pollution control. I think any of us who live in the Los Angeles area can recognize that air quality has improved over the years and uh, that's in no small measure a result of the changes in approach that John introduced. We've made great progress. The more we understand about what's in the air, the more the opportunity arises to meet that challenge. It can truly be a win-win situation, whereas the, the health of the population is improved, the industrial fabric of the country is improved by new businesses, new companies that rise to meet these challenges. Okay.